Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this short video, we are going to have a discussion about uh, transport in plants based MCQs. Let's move to the question number one. The minerals which are available for the plants include obviously those minerals which are freely dissolved in the water and they are present in the ionic form. They are available for the plants for absorption. So right option over here is Charlie. Minerals which are found attached to the soil particles with each other or having any sort of bonding with the cell walls even, they are not absorbed from the water. So Charlie, most significant pathway for the uptake uh, of minerals and water in plants from the soil, it's uh, epiplast pathway because it is the simplest pathway during uh, which there are least types of restrictions because the movement of substances along the cell wall makes it easiest. And there is no membrane uh, up till endodermis which has to have which have to be crossed over there. The simplest transports all of the following except simplest pathway can transport sugars, proteins, as well as messenger RNA in different types of cells. But through plasma desmeter, there is no movement of DNA. So right option is delta. And which of the following is an adaptation that enhances the uptake of water and minerals by roots? It's mycorrhizal association, which increases the surface area for absorption of water as well as minerals. So alpha. Number five, which structure or compartment is part of simplast pathway? We know that a cell wall of mesophyll cells, they are not involved in plasmo desmeta formation, extracellular space, or cell wall of a root here, they are not concerned with it. But interior of a sieve tube is directly connected via simplast pathway, as you can see in this diagram. These are sieve tube cells, which are connected by, uh, with each other through plasmodesmata, as well as they are connected with the companion cells in the surrounding areas. And leaves having stomata on both sides are known as isobilateral leaves, while those having stomata on lower side only, they are known as dorsi ventral. The sieve tubes and the companion cells are, com uh, are in communication with each other via plasma uh, sieve pores and sieve pores they are cytoplasm connections which are special types of plasma desmeter you can see. They are known as sieve plates or sieve pores over there. The companion cells are present in angiosperms, but they are absent in gymnosperms as well as uh, from the ferns. So alpha is the right answer. Water and cellulose, they are polar molecules. There is a strong attraction for death within the hollow capillaries of the xylem. Water is a polar molecule, which is a strong attraction for the cellulose as well as other polar substances. And attraction of water molecules with these polar substances is known as cohesion. So right option out of this option is Charlie. Number 10. Movement of phloem sap from a source to a sink. It is dependent upon the hydrostatic pressure at the source end. High hydrostatic pressure at an, uh, at an end or uh, source end, it pushes the solution in bulk amount towards the sink. So it is not uh, according to the apple loss of C2 elements only, it is uh, not dependent upon ATB availability because we know it's a passive transport pathway and diffusion is not the source of transport of these substances. It is bulk flow that is dependent upon hydrostatic pressure. <clears throat> Number 11. The sites uh, or sites where most of the uptake of water and mineral take place is are they are root hairs, which are responsible for most of the absorption. 67% area to the plant cell is provided by the root hairs. So alpha, the root bear a dense cluster of tiny hair-like structures, which are extensions of epidermal cells. So as you can see over here, the epidermal cells they are. So uh, epidermal cells will be the answer because root hairs, they are the extensions uh, of the epidermal cells in plants. Number 13, pulling upward of water and dissolved minerals towards the leaves. 
to the xylem tissue it's known as ascent offset so beta is the right option number 14 all plants do not possess all plants they have stomata cuticle as well as chlorophyll but lengthy cell is not found in all plants these are the tiny pores tiny openings in the older bark so alpha is the right answer increase in the falling causes increase increases the rate of transpiration except humidity because an increase in humidity will decrease the rate of transpiration as you know humidity is inversely proportional to the rate of transpiration number 16 stomata open due to dash of potassium into the guard cells from the surrounding epidermis it's active transport so charlie and uh, apoplast pathway it can take water and minerals up to endodermis only because in endodermis it becomes discontinuous due to presence of specialized Casparian strips and the mineral and water has to change the pathway if usually it uh, goes through plasmodesmata or simplest pathway in the next compartments number 18 tracheids when mature they undergo cell death because uh, in the final stage when they are fully mature they are just uh, cell walls only and the exudation of xylem sap drops on the edges of leaves it's known as guttation beta number 20 which of the following would tend to increase transpiration obviously uh, higher stomatal density will promote the rate of transpiration by losing more water molecules but a rainstorm or a rain sunken stomata cuticle they are going to reduce the rate of transpiration so right option is beta number 21 the cells of chlorine that conduct or transport sugars and other organic material throughout plant they are known as sieve elements or sieve tube cells the major cells of the chlorine what is the main function of companion cell in mature plant tissue companion cell it actually provides cytoplasmic contact with the seed tube elements for loading of sugars so right option is alpha what would be the consequence of removing the Casparian strip obviously Casparian strip is a vaccine layer which is uh, converting which is actually covering the xylem portion and in case of removal of Casparian strip water and mineral nutrients would be lost from the xylem back into the soil so Charlie number 24 a plant must expend energy for the translocation because at certain steps during pumping phase from leaf to the sieve tube elements or sometime to the companion cells to the sink ATP is required so beta is the right option four plants they are present in different environmental conditions plant A is present in warm climate and continuous rainfall plant B is present in cool forest and C is present in warm climate with little grease while D is having warm climate as well as high wind speed which one of the following uh, which one of the other plants will have highest rate of transpiration we know warm climate as well as high wind speed they are both uh, important for increasing rate of transpiration so plant D should be the answer the plant D is uh, the major plant which having highest rate of transpiration as compared to the other plants in the list so that was all about discussion of some important mcqs from plant portion next video will be about transport in animals thank you